Luther says that if somebody can rightly distinguish law and gospel, that they are true or chief theologian. So it seems like a good question to ask if that if that's true, let's assume it is, uh, or if it's just true at all, even a little bit. Well, well what is that? What, what does it mean to rightly distinguish law and gospel? What, what are law and what are gospel? What, what, what do these words mean? What these mean is that God's word, his, the scriptures, can be divided into two words, that God speaks in us in two distinct and different ways. They're both God, they're both true, but they're different, and they shouldn't be mixed. The first word that God speaks is the word of law. It's a word of do this and you shall live. It's a, it reveals the divine will of God. It tells us what is good, right, and holy. It, 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 the, the law describes who God is, what his characteristics are like, what his attributes are like. He says, be holy as I am holy. That's law. It's not bad. In fact, it's very good. But what we find is when this law is given to us, and the, the, maybe the most, uh, the, most obvious, um, the most obvious example of law is the Ten Commandments. Do this, do this, do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. But any law, any, anything that tells you do this and, you'll, and you'll, you'll have this, and don't do this and you'll be blessed, that's law. And what we find is, as that word hits us, as we audit ourselves, we find that we haven't done that. We haven't lived up to it. We haven't completed it. In fact, we probably haven't even gotten close. And that's where that law kills us. It makes us know that we have fallen short. The law of God reveals to us that we are sinners. That's what it does. It speaks that word to us. It reveals, it's a mirror that we look in and it's crystal clear. And what we see in that mirror is not someone who is righteous or holy or good, but someone who has missed the mark. We see a sinner. Then God has a second word a word of gospel, a word that instead of do this, a word that says this has been done. This has been done for you, and I've given it to you for free. All of these things that you haven't done, I have done, and the credit that I have, I give to you. The merit that I have, I give to you. The righteousness that I have, I give to you free, all by grace. You need only believe it. So the law gives you something to do. The gospel comes in and gives you something to believe and then causes you to believe it. So it's all gift. These are the two words that God speaks, a word of law that is good, but we're not. And a word of gospel that says, even though you're not, you are loved and I have done this.